This video, I'm going to show you how to make a pie chart in Excel. You can calculate a pie chart by hand, and I believe your book walks you through that, but anytime you turn in a pie chart for this class, you are welcome to do it in Excel, which produces pie charts really easy, and they look nice and clean, and everything is proportional. So to make a pie chart in Excel, we need to start off with some data. So I just pulled this data from my current class. It shows the number of students that got each of the different grades in their online homework. So this semester I had nine students make an A for their online homework, 11 made a B, nine made a C, three made a D, and then one really didn't do it, so he made an F. And you can pause this video and type this into an Excel sheet, and then you can follow along with me to turn this into a pie chart. All right, so to make a pie chart in Excel, I'm going to start by highlighting all of my data and information. So I'm highlighting the labels and the titles and everything. And then I'm going to go up to the top where it says insert and I'm going to pick the circular pie chart and depending on the size of your screen um, your labels might be more spread out or they might be clumped together like they are but just look and find where it says pie with like a little circle and I'm going to pick the very first 2d pie option keep things nice and simple wow that's really big so I'm going to just scale it down so it's not taking up my entire screen I have my screen zoomed in pretty big so that y'all can read it and what's nice about pie charts is Excel can automatically calculate the percentages for you. So if you clicked off of your chart, go back and click in the white space somewhere, and that should bring up the design tab at the top. And then I'm going to pick the third option, and that shows us our percentages. So it tells us that the A students, we had 27% making an A for their homework grade. For the B students, we had 34% making a B. 27 made a C, and then 9% and 3%. So it's really nice that Excel will get the percentages for you and they label it on the chart so that you can see exactly who got what grade in the class. 